Hi guys, Paul here from Studio One Expert. Today I want to show you a quick tip on tempo sync in Studio One. This tip is for when you need to sync project tempo with an audio file that starts with a small amount of silence. If you're collaborating with another producer or studio, you can't simply delete the extra silence at the start or otherwise tamper with the original file in any way, as this would change the relative start position or zero position of the output, and this causes sync issues down the line and is a major pain in the neck for anyone else who comes to work on the track after you. Moving the zero is basically a huge no-no when tracking on a collaborative project. So if you do have the misfortune to be sent a file like this, we can use the tempo automation in Studio One to create a workaround. It will allow the project metronome to exactly align with the audio file while keeping the offset downbeat intact. As I zoom in here, we can see that this example vocal track begins with about a quaver of silence before the first metronome hit, which is enough to throw the project tempo completely off the beat. So we cannot simply get rid of the silence, we have to find a way of working with it. And the way I usually deal with this is as follows. We change the tempo and time signature of bar 1 such that it is exactly the same length as the silence, then start the song on bar 2 with the real tempo. Let's open the tempo track. I'm going to change the initial time signature to something really small, say 1-8. Now we can see bar 2 lands just after the first beat of the song. So equip the split tool, make a split just on bar 2, and then we'll use the mouse wheel to increase the tempo of the first block until bar 2 starts right on the metronome, which is the downbeat of the song. Now that bar 2 is zeroed, we can change the time signature back to 4-4. Four, four, and adjust the tempo to the real tempo of the song, which is in this case 135 BPM. So let's take a listen. जहाँ भी याद तेरी आएगी वहीं पे बैठ के रो दूंगा So that's a really quick tip that will hopefully save everyone a lot of time trying to compensate for out of sync tracks from remote musicians and see you next time